here's my personal confession. Um, I am really never without this little guy right here. I know a lot of you are the same way. We're so dependent on our phones and our tablets and all of the other stuff, computers, and no one's actually talking to each other anymore. Whatever happened to personal communication? It's a good question, isn't it? That's what we're talking about today in our first Body, Mind, and Soul segment. Welcome, Vanessa Guild. Good morning. Good morning, Lisa. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm so glad to have you here because just in the time that we were sitting during the commercial break, mm -hmm. you calmed me down just by doing some breathing. Yes. So it's a good idea to shut these off every once in a while. And then what do we do? Well, I'm basically, just... as okay. you already experienced, I'm very effective at helping people center and calm the mind. And what happens is our brains are going 24-7. What's going to happen? What about this? What about that? Oh, my God, right. da, 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 da. You're in the past. You're in the future. Then you're on the cell phone. Then you're on the computer. And then you wonder why you're stressed. That is such a good Whoa. point. Let's go back to what you just Seriously. said because I think yeah. it's so important. We live in the past. Yeah. We live in the what's going to happen in the future. And we right. worry about that. And my boyfriend and I were just talking about this and I said you do this and you need to spend more time in the present yes. we all do huh yes so when you unplug from the phone when you unplug from the internet when you unplug from the computer and you actually plug back into your own person with a breath even in this moment just take a deep breath ready exhale take another one inhale exhale just in that. Even just that simple movement you helps your posture. feel better. Yeah. Yes, because you see, we are human beings. We are not human doings. But in this world, in this way. culture, Did I mean, we've forgotten that. that. that, that that's, yeah. I, there should be bumper stickers that say that. <laughs> we are called human beings to be instead of to do and go, 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 like we are exactly. all wired to do. Me and my good sense of humor. We, it's all, it, we have to bring joy into our life, you know, and I'm responsible for that. And so the practice of reminding myself to breathe just in that can calm, as you've already experienced, can calm the soul, can calm the mind, can calm with where I am. So that when you're talking about your family members, when you're talking about your friends, 90% of communication is listening. And yeah. if I can't even listen to myself because my mind is so filled with what's going to happen or this or that, or blah, 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 how in the world can I listen to my husband? How can yeah. I listen to my wife? How can I listen to my children? You know, mothers, they're the most important job on the planet. They're running around with their kids and they have to take care of the this and the that and the that and the work. You know, if you're a working mother on top of it, how yeah. do you go through your day taking care of all the things that we need to take care of? So how do we? Not being so anxiety stressed out. How do we? What are some good tips? Some wonderful tips are, one, to remember to breathe, just like mm -hmm. you've already experienced. Sounds so simple. So simple, it is but so we simple. forget. We forget we to do forget. it. We forget. So yeah. that practice in and of itself. And then also, Lisa, in the morning, before you jump up, start, hit the feet, you know, on the floor and you're going 20 million miles an hour. If you were just to take five minutes, let's say if you only have three, start there. Yeah. And just get centered and breathe. Simply breathe. You can breathe in a light, white light from the head down to your feet. Exhale the tension, exhale the stress of the day. So you're visualizing something as well. You can visualize. Some people like to say a peaceful sentence to themselves. Mm -hmm. Even if you just did that for five minutes, with ideal is 20 minutes before you start, 20 minutes at night. Sometimes you don't have that amount of time. Right. But if you do start with five minutes, that can absolutely change the course of your day. Because we have things, life still happens. Meditation practice, mindfulness practice, isn't about just sitting up on top of a mountaintop going, right. la, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's actually a bridge back to your life. Right. So that you can enjoy your life as it's happening. We forget these present moments. People don't get upset with each other on the tweeting and the, the, the twexting and the yeah. tweeting and the twatting. Oh, we've got all these yeah. things, you know. They don't get upset with each other when someone goes in to do that. The reason why someone gets upset with their family member or something when they're in the midst of all you're that right, stuff. Right, in the middle of a, com a conversation right. that you're having with somebody and they're busy on the phone, yeah. Yeah, is because they miss them. Mm -hmm. They miss the person they're with. They right. just want the presence of that other human being. Like, hey mom, hey dad, hey girlfriend, hey boyfriend. Yeah to be there. I've done that with my kids before. They'll, they'll be busy texting at the table and I'll yeah. pull out my phone and I'll pretend like I'm texting someone else and I'll send them a text saying, get off your damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> and talk exactly. to me, you know? Right, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because this life is precious. You're precious, I'm precious, oh. and we have so much to offer. And These so are... when I'm offering the stillness of mind unto myself with my breath and remind me, or reminding myself that this is it, then I get to enjoy myself, but also not be so stressed out in the midst of it. Will you promise me that you will come back? I know that you can't come to work with me every morning and calm me down, <laughs> but if you promise me that you will come back, that would make me really happy. That would be lovely. Okay. I would love to. 
And you can learn more about Vanessa and her meditation practices by going to vanessaguile.com. That's G-U-I-L-D.com. Thank you for being here as we breathe to break. <sighs> <laughs>